Welcome to this initial information video. My name is Simon Harris of the international team of the Will Writers Association. You have been invited to listen to what we have to say because we believe that you are a professional will writer, knowledgeable about wills that are written on the basis of the Wills Act 1837 of England and its subsequent amendments. Now you have somewhat unusually and somewhat unexpectedly been handed a potentially huge gift by Brussels, the EU. And this association is able uniquely to help you to take that opportunity and to lead you directly to a great many clients requiring your help as an expert in this field. So please take five minutes to listen to this information video, or if you prefer, read the script in the entries below it. We're going to start this conversation by looking at what has happened recently, what has taken place. Well, what has taken place is that the EU has introduced legislation across 25 of the 28 member countries detailing the manner in which people in one country in the world who own property in any one of those 25 EU countries must deal with the issue of their wills and probate. The outcome of that legislation is that right across Europe, wherever people from the English-speaking world mainly in this case the UK and the Republic of Ireland, have purchased property in Europe. The likelihood is that they will have protected that property with a local form of will. In other words, a family from England or Wales or any part of Ireland or Scotland who have purchased property in Spain will have been persuaded to protect their property in Spain by way of a Spanish will. That will however probably, almost certainly, will have been written to allow for the English-speaking world's freedom of disposition, which the other European countries, Napoleonic Code countries, do not have. The rest of Europe has a system of obligatory heirs, normally meaning that the estate must go to the children of the testator. As of the 18th of August 2015, all, and I say again, all, of those local wills in respect of the nationals of the UK and the Republic of Ireland will be invalid. Every single one of those wills written in that way called a Spanglish will must be replaced by a national will. This though is a highly specialised area of will law and will writing calling for expert advice and services. You have the opportunity today to become expert and then to offer your services to the huge number of families who own properties in countries throughout the EU, mainly Spain, who we have quoted, but also France, Portugal, to some lesser extent Italy, Cyprus and Greece and Germany. At this moment, we are talking about people who live and are resident and probably work or are retired in the United Kingdom or the Republic of Ireland who own property somewhere in Europe. We are not, for the moment, talking about people who have moved to retire or live in an EU country, live out the rest of their life in an EU country. Those million or two people are also affected substantially by the new EU legislation, but we will deal with those separately. So, what we think should interest you as a professional will writer of 1837 style English wills are the millions 
literally millions of people living in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland who own property somewhere in the EU who have written an adaption of a local will, an adaption of a Spanish will, an adaption of a French will, not a clean true Spanish or French will leaving all of their property to their children but an adaption of it in respect of their property in that country France, Portugal, Spain etc. What those folk need to know from you as a fully trained up expert is that from the 18th of August 2015 their wills of that type are invalid and equally they will need to know how to replace those invalid wills with immediate effect with exactly the correct type of will taking into account the new EU legislation and the other issues surrounding the wills of foreigners who own property in another country.